Ladies and gentlemen, these two warriors now step into the ring to go toe to toe in the oldest proving ground. As ladies and gentlemen, Ace Arena, this is our main event of the evening. It is now time to separate the men from the boys. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's bout sanctioned by the Combat Sports Authority of New South Wales. Supervisor, David Granger. Timekeeper, Alex Fraser. Our physician at ringside is Dr. Lou Lewis. And our judges at ringside, Brian McMahon, Max Murphy, and Bernie McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, in association with Foxtel, All-Star, and Fox Sports leading venues, ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. 10 rounds, ladies and gentlemen, in the middleweight division. Our referee in charge is Mr. Les Fear. Introducing first to my left, fighting out of the red corner. Trained by Billy Hussein and Jeff Fennick from the Body Punch Club. Official weight, 72 kilograms, even. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall. Tonight wearing red shorts with white, green, and a black trim. Rank number 29 in the world. He has a fight record of 11 fights. Nine wins, one draw. Five by way of... Knockout, the contender, Australia winner, fighting out of Petersham, New South Wales. Please welcome from the hood, Garth Wood. And in the finals of our right, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Tony Mundine from Mundine Boxing Gymnasium and managed by Coda Nasa. Official weight, 71.9 kilograms. Standing 5 feet and 11 inches tall. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, wearing green, blue, and red shorts. The three time world champion, rank number two in the WBA, and number four in the IBO and the IBF. 43 fights, 40 wins, 24 by way of knockout. Fighting out of Blakehurst, New South Wales. Please welcome the man, Anthony Murray. Fighters two centering plays for final instructions. Les Fear, third man in center ring, waits for Anthony Mundine to come face to face with Garth Wood. The time for talk is hey, over. Anthony Garth, you both received your instructions from the dressing room. I expect you to obey them at all times. And most importantly, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Cut them up. Let's go to work. Here we Let's go. go to work indeed. Final prediction, Daniel Gill and Barry Michael. I think, uh, I think they could be uh, a technical decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Ace right Arena, the fighters are ready, the judges are ready. Is it going to be a second round? Round one! Yeah, I think it's going to get rough. The atmosphere is electric. The first of ten rounds. Wood and Mundine is finally on. Styles make fights. Can Garth Wood handle the speed of Anthony Mundine? Can Garth Wood get onto Mundine's chin with his overhand right, which was so effective against Carries Karaoke when they fought? Garth Wood, when he qualified for the contender final, said, it's been life-changing for me. Can you imagine if in about 40 minutes' time, he's defeated the man? How life-changing would that be? He would certainly be popular in Australia, that's for sure. But uh, certainly a big ask for a man who's won uh, three versions of world titles and only lost three fights in all in world title fights. Never really been a fast starter, Anthony Mundine, has he? Always likes a feeling out round just to get the pace, get the tempo. Daniel, you did say to me that uh, Garth Wood is possibly open for a left hook and uh, he almost caught him with the left hook there, Anthony Monday. Yeah, I think Garth needs to put a little bit more pressure on at this stage. I think they're still filling each other out, but... Yes. Yeah. Both it's very wary. Very, very wary. No title on the line, so only the 10 rounds. We're not going 12 if it goes the distance, just the 10. That should be enough. Certainly we'll get a winner within 10, don't worry about that. Mundine a couple of kilos heavier than his last fight. Looks better for us. For sure. 
Yeah, I definitely agree. He does look a lot better at middleweight than yeah. junior middle. He almost looked like a Biafran, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, a little bit too skinny. Yeah. Mundine just missed with a left hook. Been very little attack in this first two minutes of the opening round. Let him go, Garth. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go with him. Both of his left guys. Man, the bloody funny foul! Jab, bro. Jab, chop. Wood not letting his hands go. Now he does. Misses with a big lunging right. Don't hold him there. Punch away out there. Come on. Very Punch hard to hit on the inside, Mundine. He ties you up. He makes it look awful. Yep. A lot of people forget just how good a defensive fighter Anthony Mundine is. Yeah, that's very true. He's a very good defensive fighter. If, if he can be tagged with a punch, I think usually it's the, the overhand right that he gets tagged with. It gets a bit ugly now. There's the looseness of the ropes as Wood and Mundine start to wrestle. The looseness of the ropes is certainly not going to help the situation, is it? Flurry from Wood. And... You know, really, that's Woods needs to keep him on the ropes, I think, and look for those openings in the overhand line. Oh, he still appears to have a bit of a limp, Anthony Mundine, from that hip problem when he walked to the corner there. He had hip and groin surgery. Did he? A year ago, didn't he? How would you see that one, really, guys? Uh, pretty, pretty even. It wasn't a whole lot done. It wasn't honest. a lot of clean scoring punches, but I think you'd have to give it to... Maybe a couple of cleaner shots, but very little clean punching landed by either guy. But, I don't know, just maybe looks a bit more composed and fluent. Yeah. Oh, well, I, if you're going to give it to anyone, I think, yeah, he landed a couple of... Yeah, 